Here's a concept to run past you guys. You are the universe expressing itself. Yeah? Before we wrap our mind around this concept, I'm gonna make a distinction between knowing something and realizing something. Uh, because to know, uh, that's knowledge by description. So we taught the lessons, we listen to the lectures, we go to the workshops and we learn, right? Take it in. Uh, and then there's to realize or to make real. And this is knowledge by acquaintance. So this is when we take on board direct lessons from our experiences, we integrate them into our mental models of the world. And like, there's a subtle difference, but it's a profound one. Because look at the things we know. So we know we are made of atoms. Atoms that were forged in the furnace of dying stars, which is absolutely astounding. We just know it. We know that the human brain is the most densely complex creation in our known universe. 14 billion years in the making. 14 billion years in the making. We know this. And whether this is evolution or God or intelligent design, that creative essence is not only in us, it is us. And we know this. But what would happen if we realized it? Can you imagine? I think we'd no longer be content as a passenger on this journey. We would step up into the pilot seat and we would take control. We'd no longer be a character trapped within the narrative of the script. We'd become the author and write whatever life story we desire. The chess piece becomes the chess master, right? Alan Watts said that you are something the universe is doing the way a wave is something the ocean's doing. So don't just know it, realize it. And next time you're second guessing yourself, remember you are the universe expressing itself. And when we start to take authorship into our own hands, when we decide to be the author, I took this a bit literally. 